almost five months, 19 weeks. And I was there every day. Yeah. And I, I questioned these doctors continuously. They knew very little about physiology, which is very scary because that's how you treat a body. That's how you treat the human body, your understanding of physiology and what you're doing to the body and how that affects the body and what long-term and short-term effects that's going to have based on your understanding of physiology. And nobody knew anything. So it's, uh, it's, it's why I spent every day in a neonatal intensive care unit for five months. Um, so it's, it's, I think the model is wrong. It's um, <clears throat> we need to go to other practitioners. We need to quit thinking of the, um, the medical doctor as the person who knows, because in most instances they don't. They know the drug therapy protocols and what to do, but even back in the 80s, um, uh, there have been um, medical practitioners that were saying that the doctor of the future, the key um, doctor would be a chiropractor because he knew so much more about every other different field and wasn't limited. Doctors and chiropractors have a broad scope of practice, so they have a tendency to learn more than other people. Um, excuse me. But you also find that in acupuncturists and naturopaths, there's a tremendous wealth of practitioners to go to. I wouldn't um, just go to an MD or a hospital thinking they knew. Uh, question number two, I'm unsure as to whether I have candida, but something tells me that I have. Um, my belief is if you've ever done antibiotics and based on the information we gave you earlier, you'll have systemic candida. Um, if I take just the information I gave on antibiotics, that alone in me would, this is a diagnostic for having fungal infection, systemic candida. If you then take the information we gave earlier where, where humans are really sponges and we have thousands of chemicals, I mean babies are being born with 287 chemicals in their body on the day of birth and we accumulate thousands of chemicals and they're having an effect and also the effect of stress nowadays suppresses the immune system. Um, uh, there's what you'll, some of our articles on the Candida Library will go into how all these different things affect the immune system. Aging affects the immune system. Diabetes in the body creates chronic inflammation in the body. Obesity creates chronic inflammation in the body. And the percentage of adults and children who are obese now are overweight um, that creates chronic inflammation. That interferes with all the detoxification pathways, the hormonal systems, and interfering with those pathways creates chronic inflammation. So all those things weaken the immune system. So if you take these all collectively, I, I alone think antibiotics can do it, but if you take that and a person has that problem, here's something to consider. Research shows that antibiotics <clears throat> will destroy bacteria enough and create such an imbalance that it allows the overgrowth of candida. If I can find that somewhere in here, I'll read that to you. Uh, here it is. We previously reported that the primary defense mechanisms inhibiting translocation, that's the ability of antibiotics to leave the intestinal tract and enter the bloodstream and affect tissues. So what they're saying, the primary defense mechanism inhibiting translocation from the GI tract are an ecologically balanced GI microflora. It says oral antibiotics are especially effective in disrupting the GI ecologic equilibrium. And oral antibiotic therapy in humans often leads to colonization and overgrowth of the GI tract by Candida albicans. So who's doing this research? Well, if we look down here, BioCodex. BioCodex is an independent, independent family-owned pharmaceutical company specializing in gastroenterology. So this isn't me and my practice, this isn't an acupuncturist, this isn't some university, which is, I think universities do great research and most research is being done by universities funded by pharmaceutical companies. Well, this is a pharmaceutical company doing the research and their results show that the primary defense me mechanism inhibiting translocation from the GI tract are an ecologically balanced GI microflora and oral antibiotics are especially effective in disrupting the GI ecologic equilibrium. Um, here's another study. The frequencies of the carriage of yeast pathogens tend to increase with the length of a patient's stay in a hospital. This trend was observed even though none of the patients showed signs or symptoms of superficial or systemic candidosis. Candidosis. Um, which is an abnormal candida infection. Um, so no signs, no symptoms, but at, the longer they stayed in the hospital and were exposed to more and more antibiotics, which is, how, which is what's taking place here. It doesn't say that, but that's what's taking place. 
that their candida infectious rate rose and they were still asymptomatic and showed no signs of superficial or systemic candidosis. So there doesn't have to be, and many people wonder, well, if I had candida, why not? If I, and this is why I tell people, if you did antibiotics 30, 40, 50 years ago, you'll still have systemic candida. You may not be symptomatic of a very severe infectious process, which is the only process that the medical profession re recognizes, but you still have it from taking antibiotics, from steroids, from living in today's uh, society, all these things, the toxin, all these things combined. So um, th these are, these are, this is how it happens. Um, and uh, there's research being done. Uh, some of the initial research back in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, was all done by pharmaceutical companies, NASA, uh, the U.S. Naval Department did research on candida. On our site, you'll see we, we talk about uh, uh, systemic candida and astronauts, because when you put astronauts in a weightless environment, that promotes more um, system, symptomatic expression of candida. And again, if you have questions, call us 888-236-7780. Um, so there are many different mechanisms, but my point of view is these people already have candida in the body from antibiotic use living on the planet, but um, there are certain things that will bring it out more. So it's the conditions that allow candida to really express itself if you're really stressed, if you get another disease that comes along that weakens your immune system further, if you didn't get a good night's sleep, if you have, uh, um, if you're exercising, you know, extreme exercise, intensive exercise suppresses the immune system. A lot of these different mechanisms contribute to this infection, which has been there since your antibiotic exposure, to now become symptomatic. Um, third question, could hives that are worsened by stress, so again, stress brings out more inflammation, weakens the immune system. Could hives that are worsened by stress in dairy be a result of candida? Well, dairy, um, this is most likely going to be um, homogenized, pasteurized dairy. Um, my, my grandfather would never drink this stuff. It was the worst thing on the planet to him. He was a farmer. He drank whole milk, raw dairy. It contains bacterial organisms which keep it safe. Um, so I guarantee this person is probably not drinking raw dairy. Um, but she's drinking the pasteurized stuff, which has been shown to increase inflammation, especially of the arterial, the circulatory system. So, and it's also dairy is that TH2 response, which is what candida favors. It's an allergic response. It's an antibody response. So could this be, uh, could hives that are worsened by stress in dairy be the result of candida? Yes. It destroys the immune system, weakens the immune system, manipulates the immune system, destroys tissue, affects how the tissues function. Um, one of the things you'll find a lot of times is people who have hives, have low hydrochloric acid in the stomach. So here we go again, destroying the bacteria, losing the B vitamins, which play a role in synthesizing hydrochloric acid for the stomach. Uh, and that's one of the common, uh, we commonly see people who have acid reflux get, um, you know, benefit tr tremendously um, by doing a candida program during the McCombs plan. And uh, it's just common because you restore the normal bacteria, you increase B vitamin synthesis, absorption, and you, in subsequently increase the production of hydrochloric acid, you get rid of the acid reflux. People think acid reflux is overproduction of acid. It's overproduction because you go through these, because it predominantly is low acid and the body raises the acid level when we eat foods because the acid level activates the enzymes which help to break down the food. So we get overproduction. Okay, um, so yeah, and hives, and also um, a traditional remedy for hives for years was apple cider vinegar which increases as a mild acid to increase the acidity of the stomach. So that's been used for years for hives and it's been uh, effective. But also a good remedy is turmeric that you buy at the store, a seasoning. That if you did a teaspoon and a half a glass of warm water three times a day, a day usually gets rid of hives. It wouldn't get rid of necessarily the cause, but it helps your body manage the problem. Um, next question, long question. I had a dental revision through Dr. Hal Huggins um, and in the consent, uninformed consent, it talks about uh, mercury having an effect with candida and um, how that affects the bacteria. And I'll go into this in just a second, but we have a caller that I want to take. Hi, it's Dr. McCombs. Thanks for calling in. Hi, doctor. I, uh, I was recently diagnosed with an infection of the prostate, and I was given two different cycles of antibiotics that lasted for about 60 days in total. Uh, Cipro and tetracycline were the antibiotics that were given. 
Um, it 